using the worst candy oh, yes. in the world. <laughs> Turkish delights. <laughs> They're like what I imagine like a urinal cake would taste like. They're terrible. <laughs> the only possible thing that's worse than a Turkish delight candy, circus peanuts. Hey, Internet. It's Paul. It's Matt. The Dork Lords. We are here talking about Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Season 1, Episode 4. The whole world is watching. We open with a flashback to before the snap in Wakanda. It's the final stage of Bucky's deprogramming. Uh, Io tests him with some trigger words. Yes. By the way, great job by Sebastian Stan in this thing. I thought he really gave some emotional weight to this moment. We could feel... Yeah. Him resisting, and it was great. I, I, yeah, yeah, well done, I Sebastian Stan. Uh, spoiler alert, uh, he passes the test. Does not go crazy. <laughs> okay. He gets a diploma. <laughs> okay. Um, so um, we end with a grim, violent, dramatic scene in which John Walker publicly kills a flag yes. smasher with yes. the shield. Yes. It's covering the shield in blood. It's like, whoo, it's a striking image. Um, (laughs) While everybody, onlookers are all filming with their iPhones. Um, We knew he'd implode eventually. Well, this is the episode where he implodes. Yes, Um, yes, yes. And uh, big clue, my wife pointed this out. Big clue, uh, he didn't shave. (laughs) In any movie, (laughs) if you've got a normally clean-shaven guy, suddenly he's not shaving. Get ready, because that guy's going crazy. Scruffy uh, equals crazy. So, mm, there you go. Mm, she knew it, now she knew that, it going uh, in. Yeah, now that uh, we no longer have, uh, you know, Battlestar. Uh, <laughs> the best name in the... No one to stop scene. him now from, from not shaving. No one to encourage him to shave. That's right. Now, if he gets a full beard, like uh, Captain America when he did the Nomad, that's fine. Like a, a, a well kempt yeah. beard, you're fine. But in the scruffy phase, get you could just go ka- kabloom, and he yeah. does. Um, so okay, <laughs> but before we uh, go on anymore, uh, Paul, what did you think of episode four, good sir? Uh, I liked it. I certainly liked it better than the last weeks. Definitely. Um, it's interesting though because uh, I feel like um, in narrowing down. Uh, the story in this episode where it's like, um, okay, well, we now know that uh, most, if not all, of the super soldier serum has been used. You know, or destroyed, yeah. And destroyed, yeah. Destroyed. Mostly of it destroyed, but, you know, the last one that seemingly was used. It was almost um, certainly used. I think, I think 99.9%. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. But I didn't, I didn't know if it's one left vial or two. Oh, That's I see. Was, words. was there know? another vial that yeah. rolled off into a corner? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I think the um, answer to that is no. But you're right. Probably. There, we don't know. But, yeah. Probably. Was he that careless? I guess he wasn't careless. He got hit with, in the face with the shield. That's why Zemo fell down. Stop breaking things. Yeah. I didn't do the counting, do the math, but if there were 12 vials, it seemed like he broke, you know, yeah, it 10, like 10 it. or more. So, yeah. Uh, with that being cut down now, it definitely seems like um, Bucky and, uh, you know, Sam have to get back a shield. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, the shield, you know, it's like okay, it's it's certainly heading down a, a confrontation between uh, you know John and and uh, the two of them. They do kind of preface it in this episode where you know they have that moment where John's like, "Well, you want me to put down the shield? You want me to make it fair?" Like he's actually offering a fight. This is before he takes the serum, but you know yeah. earlier they're they're kind of that moment of like this could be a confrontation. Yeah. So uh, and other than growing uh, the amount of super soldiers that uh, Carly had at her disposal, I don't know exactly now what she's building for. You know, I don't know. Right. You know what? You know what? What renegade thing that people would oppose that she's trying to do? <laughs> you know, it's like stop this. blowing I'm things up and stealing supplies. Like, okay, well, give us some supplies. Oh, was was that all it took? Oh, well, we'll try to get you that. <laughs> that news story they showed. Apparently, people were coming to her side. Right. For some, you know, so maybe maybe there is some good coming out of it. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. but I'll make a prediction on. There's a scene we've uh, an image that we've seen several times in the trailers. 
and it's of John Walker kneeling. It looks like in despair in a warehouse with the shield. And I think you can see that the shield has some blood on it. Um, mm. So my thought is that's how we're going to open episode five. Uh, okay. He's, whatever, retreats from the public, goes into this warehouse, and is despondent at what's mm. happened, perhaps. I think what's going to happen in the episode five is that Sam and Bucky will go back to Louisiana to make sure that Sam's family is safe. You know, his sister, mm -hmm. his sister's been threatened right. by the flag smashers. Right. Uh, we know that Sam and Bucky are in that damn backyard throwing the shield. I'm like, <laughs> when is that coming? So I'm thinking maybe that's episode five, which if that's true, and if we start the episode with despondent uh, John Walker with the bloody shield, maybe it's that moment that either willingly or unwillingly he gives up the shield to Sam. I don't know. Mm. I don't know if Sam takes it from him or if he's just like, right. "Screw it, I'm out." I don't know. I don't know how that plays yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so you think thought. it's up in the next episode? Okay, yeah, maybe, maybe. Because there is a lot yeah, that has to happen that's not John Walker based. Right. And so I feel like in some ways, what is the big moment that's the ending moment? What is the yeah. episode six yeah. thing? Is it? Is it? It might, might be John Walker versus Sam, but I almost feel like they resolve that in episode five, and then the new Captain America ish version of Sam resolves the Zemo power broker Carly thing in episode six, perhaps. Yeah, no, I mean, I keep, I feel like they're setting us up for, um, you know, with with what they've talked about with. Uh, Isaiah and uh, you know the country's history and and now with that they might be like you know maybe we should take a break on Captain America for a while you know maybe we um, should destroy the shield <laughs> yeah maybe we should destroy it or send it to Wakanda to have them look after it or whatever Carly you know? echoes that sentiment which Sam yeah, had already yeah. echoed they're not going to destroy yeah. the shield but yeah we still don't know what's up with Sharon Carter, and I still feel like that is an important thing that's going on. What's, what's she talking about? We see that um, she contacts uh, Sam by phone, and she's saying, Hey, you know, because you killed Nagel, Power Broker's mad, and all hell's about to break loose in Madripoor. That's kind of what yeah. we hear from her. And why... Well, I should say... <laughs> Why does she have access to satellites? <laughs> Why does she have access to she satellites? She just threw that out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a couple of satellites. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Why does she have access to that? <laughs> got a moon base. You need a moon yeah. base? I got the, uh... One of the things I'm wondering if we're going to see uh, Thunderbolt Ross and, and if she's really um, doing a covert op for him. Um, Reasonable. You know, then I would understand her having access to, oh, that, access to all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for someone who's apparently, you know, in hiding, off, she seems to have, yeah, all the luxuries she needs. But also, something I mentioned last week that I thought might be a plot thread, which I think is still in play, in fact, maybe more in play now, uh, was the idea that perhaps Zemo would go after Isaiah Bradley as this source of the serum. He's now broken all the serum vials, as far as he knows. Right, that's true. And he's and he's escaped. Yeah. So where is he going? He knows that the Dora Milaje are going to catch up to him sooner or later. So he's only got a limited amount of time. Um, right. Where is he? What's he? What's his? What's his plan in the next? Week? Right. You know? And they also introduced uh, Elijah, so it makes you wonder if um, you know, <laughs> at some point uh, before the end of the series, he gives a transfusion. Which is partly how um, right, right to to get Elijah the, the powers. gets the, yeah to get those powers. Um, I, part of me thinks that uh, that's a lot to shove into the last couple episodes. It is. You're just like, man, that's um, this, as, as we're talking about it. I'm like, man, that's a lot. Maybe that's too much. Yeah. So, but uh, you know, maybe there's a conversation where um, you know he gets injured, and then they take him off, and then you see. A doctor, like, okay, let's do it. what? What's going to happen? Why is that doctor taking him away? What's going on? <laughs> I liked how Wyatt Russell uh, depicted. He's almost like a roided out. Yeah, you know, like yeah. he's twitching. He, you know, he. I, I think he's. He doesn't realize his own strength for a little while there at the end. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Um, so the serum has had an effect on him physically, not just like, oh, now I can punch stuff, but it's also like, yeah. it's too much. I can't take it. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. I, I, I like that uh, depiction of it. In fact, that moment where he bends the bar and the 
the flag smash with these hands. Yeah. Oh, sh- oh shit! You yeah. know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and inter- Sam notices that as well because in that yeah. same moment, Sam like, what yeah, did you what do? Did you so do? Sam yeah. knows he took the serum. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wouldn't be that hard to figure out. He yeah. jumped out of a four-story it... window onto yeah, the bus. Yeah, yeah. Like, All right, that guy. And this guy didn't put up any reasonable fight to John Walker at all. Um, I think I would would have, if I'd had the chance, I would have matted the guy who ends up dying in this uh, episode because he does the, the bit where he's like, <laughs> yeah, back in the day, I was always inspired by Captain America. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no. Oh. Why did you say that last episode so I could <laughs> mat you? Oh. You just signed your death warrant, dude. Yeah. <laughs> And sure enough, it's like, oh, the irony. Uh, one thing I used to always tell my mother is that if anybody's going to kill me, it's not going to be Captain, Captain America. Captain America. <laughs> he would never he kill would me. He would never do that. He'll always be there to save the day. Oh, my God. Um, also, obviously, we see the parallel, I think, between the way that they film uh, John Walker, you know, doing the crush him with the shield yes. uh, is, uh, you know, echoes back to Steve Rogers, you know, with Tony Stark and how he oh, doesn't yeah. kill Steve. I mean, he it could does. have just rammed it right through, to, but he uses it to break the arc reactor, basically, and then kind of just shoves it and, and leaves as opposed yeah. to going through with Which, it and... Still, we should actually give him heart problems, but... <laughs> that's true. Maybe they don't kill him. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, now, okay, uh, he's been filmed. Everybody's got him on camera. It's a terrible thing that's happening. Yes. And obviously there's big echoes. I mean, right now we've got here in the States, uh, George Floyd, the Derek Chauvin trial is going on, which was caught on camera. Yes. Um, and so it's, you know, very, very uh, relevant to today. Sure. Um, but in that vein, do we see this being spun in some way? Will the powers that be try to defend those actions, or will it just be like, a, oh, John Walker is now out? Dramatically, I'm not sure what they have to gain from that. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like uh, they made a point of having a bunch of people take a picture of it, showed something that you'd never seen um, Captain America do, even though, you know, uh, throwing that shield into people's yeah, faces. People's face. Put some blood on the Captain America's shield. It reminded me of... Um, when Steve Rogers used to fling it around. Remember, uh, I always thought about this, in Terminator 2, uh, you know, at the very beginning of that movie, John Connor gives Arnold Schwarzenegger the directive, like, you can't kill anybody. And so he's like, ah, I must not kill anyone. Yeah. Okay, well... Not for lack of trying. Like, yeah, and then he yeah, pushes yeah. people through, like, plate glass windows. Yeah, 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 he yeah. blows up a cop car with, like, a grenade with guys yeah. standing next to it. Yeah. Sure, they read the little do, 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 zero casualties. But, yeah. you know, uh, was he that sure no one was going to yeah, die yeah, in those yeah. moments? So, anyway, similar thing where Captain America's hurt a lot of folks. Yes. Um, luckily, you know, hey, take a little brain injury, you're fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's all. But uh, he never yeah. said he wasn't going to paralyze you for life. You know, he never said <laughs> right. that. Exactly. Says, oh. <laughs> it feels like they're going to go into the route of John Walker is now disgraced and he feels yeah. disgraced. And so, how does he do? Does he just sink into a depression or does he strike back as like in anger? Or I'm not sure, you know, where, what, what his reaction is to. This and again, story. dramatically, it's kind of hard to for me to feel like um, he, you know, backs down because he's also know. roided up, right? So he's done the serum, right? He's twitching yes. and the, ah, so yes, 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 right. So, so probably like, we have a showdown between Sam and and John. As, as we yeah, well, out probably Sam, Bucky, and John. I would think. I mean, you think you Bucky know. assists in the? It's a. It's a two I part. would think he has to. <laughs> Well, right, but that's the thing. It's like, how could Sam possibly survive? But then he does. Yeah. Figures yeah. out a way. I don't know. You're right. If he just stands toe to toe, punch, 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 he's in real yeah. trouble. But. Yeah. Even with his wings, you know, like, uh, yeah. you know, I'm sure John Walker could rip that thing right off him with it. It's Battlestar, we hardly knew ye. Uh, he is killed off by Carly. Yes. Um, and uh, obviously that's what triggers 
John Walker's uh, rage. So yeah, now that they've narrowed this story down, I'm not sure. I mean, we'll see, I guess, how they resolve it. Um, if, while you might have been right uh, about them cutting out a virus uh, subplot, um, yeah, other than the, fla uh, the Flag Smashers, other than uh, the Power Broker, I'm not sure what else is outstanding anymore. Well, I mean, the Flag Smashers are still on the loose, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, if Carly's, you know, now that she's lost that motivation, um, you know, I can imagine her allowing herself to be, you know, put under, you know, to save her people, maybe, making some sort of deal, like, okay, just let it fall on me, and then I'll go to jail. Interesting, okay, um, that's an interesting I can see Because she, she has a talk with Sam there, you know, Sam right. empathizes with her on many points, doesn't believe in her methods. Yes. Um, but we also do get these moments, you know, she says, like, at one point, like, oh, you tricked me into saying something that sounds like I'm a supremacist. Yes. <laughs> um, and then we see her call and, you know, threaten Sam's sister in a very ominous yeah. call. And you're like, whoa, okay. On the dock. Yeah, yeah. And, with and your so, like, sons. he's like, wait, what's that about <laughs> threatening my sister? He's like, oh, I wouldn't have done it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and so. We get that. I think the thing of, you know, the, the notion of, uh, I think it's what Zemo brings up. Hey, people who want to take a super serum are by nature supremacists. And he allows for the exception of Steve Rogers, which is a pretty big consolation for him, frankly. But yeah, really. He's like, yeah. okay, fine. Steve Rogers is one, but no one else. Yeah, no one else. You know. It's like, oh, you kill a whole bunch of people. You know, yeah, not you. Not you, yeah. Bucky. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and so, um, so the fact that. Carly obviously intentionally wanted the power and got got the power and is using the power. We see these kind of cracks in her facade as well. While she's meaning to do what she thinks yeah. is the right thing, she is also kind of succumbing to that "I'm better than others" kind of quality, right? Of like, ah, I'm a super person now. Um, and right? So, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Certainly in the previous episode where she blew up those people. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's the only language they understand. I understand other saying? languages, but them, no. That's yeah. all. <laughs> um, and so, uh, yeah. So I'm not sure. I mean, at first I thought maybe that was going to be a, hey, like she'll have a redemptive thing because she and Sam seem to see eye to eye. But now I'm not so sure. After the threat to his sister, I think that might have been a. It's not an un. It's not. It's not crossing the Rubicon per se, but it's like a. Mm, that's a step that you wouldn't take, as like I'm the good person. So I don't know that they they come back and then they're like, oh great, Carly, help us out. We need help now. I don't know. Mm, hmm. eh. Possible, but I think it's more likely that maybe she's. They they can't bring her back at this point. Oh, you think she's irredeemable? Well, maybe she sacrificed herself. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm inclined to think that more. I feel like she twitched her, uh, a little too far toward evil, and it's like, eh, can, can we pull it back? I'm not sure. Uh, in two episodes, mm. Zemo uh, does something impossible, which is. Uh, get information from kids using the worst candy oh, yes. in the world. <laughs> Turkish delights. <laughs> They're like what I imagine like a urinal cake would taste like. They're terrible. <laughs> the only possible thing that's worse than a Turkish delight candy, circus peanuts. But other than that, I don't know. I don't know that anything. Peeps aren't even as bad as a Turkish delight. Yeah. And he's like, oh, with Turkish delights, I can get anything I want. Now, hold on a minute. This is a war torn section of you know and they don't know that little better. girl like you know like oh they, they reminded me of my grandma uh, you know, oh like, it's not grandma nails. Cooks. I don't know. <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> um okay fair yeah. enough maybe uh, i mean yeah the whole thing to me was creepy it's just sort of like yeah, come on little girl have some candy like oh, okay don't trust them they're man. bad but i'm good Strange middle-aged man they've never met walks up with candy. Yeah. It's like, 
I need you to tell me things and I'll give yeah. you can. I'm like, yeah, does he have a van? I'm like, yeah. oh man, that's creepy as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he's singing the uh, Baba Black Sheep song. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. all right, this is, I mean, in another movie, uh, <laughs> those, those kids disappear and are never. Yeah, seen yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, thank you know, God he's rich. Wasn't... You know, you think he could have just, you know, quickly bought like an ice cream, you know, truck. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I don't know what he plays. Um, so, uh, uh, so that was creepy. Um, yeah. But we also see, I guess, that he's manipulative even with kids. He knows yes, how to get yes. info out of he them. He knows how to kids, yeah. And so yeah. he oh, figures here's out. Here's a bunch of money from your family. She's going to buy better candy than right. you know, She's Turkish like, Delights. Hey, <laughs> like, good. You can keep your cheap-ass <laughs> Turkish Delights. I'm getting some M&M's. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, there's some gobstoppers. There's a funeral for um, Carly's mentor figure. Yes, and so Mama Donia, Mama Donia, uh, and so they uh, rightly figure out that oh look, I'll bet you a bunch of them are going to group up to have a eulogy, and yeah. that's how they find Carly. Sam asks for a couple of minutes. Uh, John Walker doesn't want to give it to him, but no, no. He, uh, he relents eventually. And so that's where we get the conversation between Sam and Carly. So also, we have a ticking clock in that uh, the Dormelage have yeah. given eight hours. They're like, look, yeah. fine, Bucky. We won't come after Zemo for eight hours, but get ready, because we're gonna. Um, and they do. And so they come in. John Walker tries to patronize the Dormelage. Oh, with your pointy sticks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tries to pat him on the shoulder. They, they kick his ass. Yes. Um, which depresses him, right? I mean, he's like, they weren't even super soldiers. <laughs> yeah, that was, oh. yeah, that was good. The bit where, where they kick flip up the shield, that was pretty cool, too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You want it? Fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, eh, take I it. love the way um, uh, Bucky was heckling him, like, oh, yeah, looking good there. Looking good there. <laughs> As he's getting hit in the head with yeah. his spear. <laughs> but speaking of that, Bucky learns us that the the uh, the Wakandans had a little fail safe on his arm. Yes. Like they apparently going back to the first episode or the first scene in this episode. Yeah. Uh, apparently they weren't sure he was going to pass that test. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case he stays yeah, crazy. Yeah. Beep, boop, beep, yeah, she was confident that she wouldn't let the like, <laughs> Trust me. I've got a plan. I'm if fine. You, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. That's fine. You oh, go, go oh crazy. you passed. Yay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. uh, beep, boop, beep, boop. <laughs> um, oh good oh you're good okay okay fine keep the arm so uh so yeah so they've got a they've got a fail safe if they ever need to uh quote unquote disarm bucky uh yeah. they can do that um uh and that shocks him they're like did you know that no <laughs> like okay <laughs> so zemo's speech about how hey look you know people who who strive to be these super powered folks? Yes, you know, lead to tyranny. Yes, essentially is his point. Yeah. Um, and although uh, you could make you know the same point about rich people, <laughs> right? Right. Well, you put yourself yeah, in the hierarchy. Like, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, there is a trailer shot of him at the. Um, yeah, I'm guessing it's at the memorial. He mentions the. Uh, have you ever been to the Sokovia, Sokovia Memorial? He mentions that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And there's a shot of him standing in front of what looks like a memorial. So maybe that's where he goes. Okay. Immediately after escaping, you know, there's only two episodes left. They still have a lot to go. Who the hell is the power broker? I'm still of the mind that it's someone new. That it'll be the power broker is Jerry. Okay, great. You know, whatever. But do you? Uh, okay. Um, I think it might be Thunderbolt Ross, but we'll see. Okay. I feel like Thunderbolt Ross would be more of a buyer from the Power Broker as opposed to the Power Broker himself, but maybe not. You know. Hmm. Okay. We'll see. Uh, a reasonable guess, good sir. Um, so, all right. We'll be back. And perhaps the Power Broker will be revealed. Yes. And uh, so come on back for that. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.